Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Christina Kay. It is very early. I am very tired. I had a Walt Disney World weekend. The following weekend was a wedding weekend and I'm headed back to Walt Disney World tomorrow. Actually, when you guys see this, I will be there. So very exciting stuff. If you're going to be there for the 50th, come say hello. I would love to say hi. Just keep in mind, I will be with family and friends and doing some work. So I may not have all the time in the world to hang out with you, but it would mean the world to me if you came up and say hi. So please come say hi. Um, and if you're heading down, have a magical and safe time. Okay, let's get into the haul. Part one is Walt Disney World. I went with one of my best friends, her sister and my sister. We spent a sister's weekend bachelorette trip in Walt Disney World. It was amazing. I will link whatever videos I've already posted from that trip down below. More are on the way and then of course 50th videos are on the way. We didn't go into too many stores. I was mainly focused on them buying stuff um, because they never get to go so I wanted them to buy stuff. I did buy one thing for myself kind of a big thing for myself but I couldn't pass it up because if you guys know I love Beauty and the Beast. It is my all-time favorite movie, and I love Duty and Burke bags. I have a big Belle bag um, that came out a couple of years ago, and it's her in the yellow dress. I adore that bag. It's so meaningful to me. This one's very meaningful, too. First of all, she's in the blue dress, and second, it's for food and wine, which is a big part of what we celebrated that weekend. So it's a crossbody style, and guys, there's first of all, there's stuff in it. I have used this bag so much since I've been back. So many compliments on it. Look at her in the blue dress. Absolutely love it. I actually love this design with the color wash on it and the food and all the Epcot, icon, Epcot icons. I can barely talk, guys. It's early. I haven't been caffeinated. <laughs> I love this pretty blue. I love the size of this bag. Um, on here, we have the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 2021. Hopefully that video will be posted soon of all the goodies we um, tried. We've got a front zipper compartment here. I didn't even realize it was open. And it's actually a very handy compartment. It's a regular crossbody bag. It's a big one and it actually fits my diabetes kit, which is amazing. So hopefully you guys can see all of the icons and the sidekicks on there. It's got Lumiere, Mrs. Potts, and Chip. And then if you're trying to make out what some of these things are, it's the pavilions at Epcot. So you've got like Mexico, France, Spaceship Earth. They did a great job on this bag. It was cheaper than a lot of the Dooney and Burke bags that I've got. So this is what I splurged uh, for that trip. And I didn't want to buy too much because I only had a carry-on for the three-day weekend. Um, and everything fit perfectly. So it was amazing. I want to show you guys the magic band that I got for the trip. Now, keep in mind, I will be down there for the 50th. This was a pre-arrival exclusive. Now, since I have been back from Walt Disney World, they released a ton of merch. I'm dying. Uh, but this is not one that you can buy in the stores. You can only get it if you're staying at a Disney resort and it's a pre-arrival exclusive. So it's this navy blue. And on this side, we have Tinkerbell and Figment, Chuby, the bird from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Mr. Toad on his ride vehicle. Oh, I skipped Kevin. BB-8, great mixture of characters representing all four of the theme parks. On this side, we've got this uh, Walt Disney World 50th slider. It can come off and you've got Orange Bird and Dumbo, Simba, keeping it on. I'm going to be wearing this one tomorrow. Madame Leota and then, guys, the trolls from Maelstrom. Do you remember that ride in Norway, which is now where the Frozen ride is? My sister died when she saw that. Of course, when you put it on, it gets covered up, but it's cool that they are on there. So I'm going to be wearing this guy on the plane tomorrow, which again, by the time you guys see this, I'll already be there. I got so many questions about the 50th merch when I was in Walt Disney World. I did not see like anything. The only thing I saw, oh God, things are falling, guys. The only thing I saw was the calendar, which I got for my desk at work. That was literally the only piece of 50th merch that was available when I was there. Now things might be a little different. So this was from the first collection they released. I love this design. There is a t-shirt that's down there right now with this design on it that I'm hoping I can get to wear on the 50th. Not gonna open it, but here's the back. You guys have probably seen this a couple of times. If you really wanna see a lot of the 50th merch, I'm gonna link my girl Betty from Betty Says down below because her hauls and then she takes you through the store. She lives down there. She's a personal Disney shopper, so go check out her channel. Speaking of Betty, she picked up two goodies for me. I was so happy I got to see her on this trip. We got to see Epcot Forever for the last time. And actually, I think it was her first time seeing it. We had an amazing time. And I'm going to see her again the day you're probably seeing this tonight for Happily Ever After. It's the final night. 
I'm gonna get emotional, I know, but here's the first thing she picked up for me. Again, this is not available anymore. It is a 50th Spirit jersey, kind of similar to the Make-A-Wish one that they had, and you've got this iridescent Mickey. Now, the, the glitter in here, you can't really tell on the camera, but it's not just silver glitter like the other one was. This has all different color glitters, and the back is like the real showstopper here. It says, the most magical celebration for the 50th, and then on the bottom, You've got the castle and the 50, and it's like um, uh, like a pink iridescent rose gold color, I would say, everything. But depending on where the light is hitting it, it could be more bronzy, a little bit more blue. This is beautiful. Um, oh, and I just noticed this. On the inside, it says Walt Disney World 50th. Very cool. So I will be packing that guy. I don't know if they released any of the other spirit jerseys yet, but I'm sure on October 1st, everything they'll possibly have will be released and maybe restocked, fingers crossed. Betty also got me two other things and they're in this pile somewhere. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I did have a couple of friends who sent me stuff. One is a good friend of mine that works down in Florida and they did like this press thing for food and wine and I didn't get to be a part of it, but she sent me some of the stuff that they gave to everyone. And this is my favorite item that she sent. I was so excited about this because this was, was this our first stop or second stop at food and wine? It was Mickey and Minnie's Apple Orchard. That is in Canada. The apple tart there was amazing. We weren't the biggest fans of the cider flight, believe it or not, and I'm a big cider girl, but yeah, the, the apple tart was the showstopper for me. Again, you can see all of that on the food and wine video that I will be posting soon. Oh, I'm starting to lose my voice, no but I just thought Mickey and Minnie on here was so stinking cute. They had quite a few food and wine merch left. I don't know what's gonna be available when I get down there, but I know some of you guys were asking questions about that too. Some of the stuff was sold out. Um, I think this mug was still there, but again, I didn't really do much shopping on this trip, so I'm not 100% sure. One of my friends picked this up for me. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I mean, I like it. I'm just trying to be more realistic about some of the stuff I bring into my life. And it also goes with that mug. It is the um, Apple Orchard Spirit Jersey. Now it is, it's not a white color. It looks kind of white on camera, but it's a cream color. And it's got this beautiful like gold detailing on the bottom. The back is kind of like the Food and Wine Festival Spirit Jersey last year, where it's got the words on the top, sweet as pie. And then it's got mini on the bottom. So cute. Some of these I'm weirded out by when the image is like on your butt, especially with spirit jerseys, because I tend to tie them because they run a little big. So I have to try that on after my trip again and uh, see what I want to do with that. But let me know in the comments below, are you guys into spirit jerseys with stuff on the back? I feel like when I wear them in the parks, you can't really see it because of the backpack, right? I did buy this on my trip too, but it's a Christmas gift for my sister. She has a pair of these and absolutely loves them. And they had one random pair again, and I've yet to see them since. And the woman did take the tags off. She didn't understand they weren't for me, but there are these Haunted Mansion sunglasses. You can see the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. It says Haunted Mansion. They're more like a Ray-Ban kind of style. She loves these. These are the parks sunglasses that she wears. They're subtle, yet you can tell they're Disney, um, and they look good on her. And I know she has trouble finding sunglasses, so I'm happy that I was able to get her a pair for Christmas. And okay, here's the thing Betty picked up from Food and Wine, and there's something else she got me, and I cannot find it now. It was a keychain. Um, but okay, again, Beauty and the Beast, that was a big theme this year for Food and Wine. It's a kitchen timer and it's Cogsworth. Like, come on, so cute. I saw a few of these still. I know they sold out of the chip measuring cups, but they still had Cogsworth and love this, love this, love this. Okay, here's something that's become an inside joke with my sister and I. Last year, we made a big deal about getting each other the same calendar. We bought it, I think it was Corn Out of Springs in that gift shop, and then we gave it to each other for Christmas. Well, we did the same thing this year. There was a sale on Shop Disney, and we got these. It is the 2022 Disneyland calendar, so technically, I'm not supposed to know about this, but this is also one that I'm giving her and I'll show you guys the back. I think they're still available on Shop Disney. They didn't have a plain um, 2022 one for Walt Disney World, just the 50th, but we thought these images were so cute and we are hardcore missing Disneyland right now. Look at my man. So I've got both of them here. This next thing I got pretty lucky. My friend ordered two of these and now that the Disney store is closed near me, which so sad, 
In order to send stuff back, return it, you have to pay for shipping. And he didn't want to pay for shipping, so he just gave this to me. Um, and it's a magic band, and it's not a pre-arrival one, so he didn't link it to his account yet. But it's got the Mad Hatter on it, and it's a yellow, which I don't have many yellow ones. And it says, it's always time for tea, which is, yep, that's the story of my life. I literally have an iced tea waiting for me when I'm done with this. And it's got all the teacups on it. I love this so much. I'm not packing it for this trip, but I will be packing it for one soon. But uh, this was so, so cute. It's always tea time. Speaking of when the Disney store closed, I got this shirt at the store. It was so cheap. And then I noticed they had them in Walt Disney World too. They're just really soft. I honestly probably wouldn't have bought the Walt Disney World one, but because of the price and that it was soft, I got it and I'm gonna pack it for this trip. It's this Happy Halloween and it's got um, just three characters on it. Mickey, Minnie, oh no, Mickey, Minnie. Mickey, Goofy, and Donald. And then the pumpkin with the plaid ears is kind of the trend this year. And it's this three different color on the back. Same thing. It's really soft. I wish you guys could feel how soft this is. Now they run really big. This is an adult size and it's a small and it's still huge on me, but I'd rather it be huge than tight. Um, and I'm going to pack this one. If I, if I do Halloween stuff, I don't know if I want to do all 50th for this trip, Halloween stuff. I don't really know. <laughs> I'll be there for like a week. So if you guys are there again, come say hi. When I ordered the calendars, I also ordered this because I needed a new Captain America needed. I wanted a new Captain America shirt for when I go to bed. And like most of the stores, the Captain America shirts are so like heavy. And I felt one when I went into the Disney store when it was closing and I was like, wow, this is really soft. And then it was on clearance online. So I got it. And it's the cap shield and it's this really soft gray shirt. I have a couple of other pajama tees from Disney in this like gray heathered like material and they are amazing and I got it oversized so I can sleep in it and I just love me some Captain America. Have you guys seen any of the latest Marvel movies like Black Widow and Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings? Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments below but don't leave spoilers for anybody else who hasn't seen. Oh right I also got another PJ shirt. I think they were like buy one get one for like ten dollars for both of them. I think that's what it was so I got same deal, the heathered, but Pixar. And I have Toy Story pajama bottoms, so this is perfect. Again, got it oversized, it's super soft, loving it. I'm a big fan of H&M. Sometimes their stuff is hit or miss. I love their hoodies. They're good quality, they just look good, they feel good, and this one was so cute. I have another pink one I got from H&M, but I stained it during the pandemic and I just kind of used it as my like lounge around the house, no one's watching me hoodie. Um, I think I filmed videos in it, but this one was so cute. It's got this little Mickey on top. Like I love that black detail with the sketching along with the pink. And it's just got the kangaroo pocket, a regular pink hoodie. And on the back, it's got that logo, but bigger. I thought this was so cute. Sometimes I have like Disney sweatshirts and let me know if you guys do this too that are just for the parks that are for home This one I feel like is going to be a home one like I feel like this is just very Trendy and very cute and I love the sketch detailing and the colors and if it was cooler out today I'd probably be wearing it even though you know what I dropped someone off at the airport early this morning and I was freezing I still like have my sweatshirt on because of it. So maybe I can wear it later. Okay, the next two things were given to me by my friend Jackie, my best friend. She was a manager at the Disney store and it closed. It's very sad and she's been like decluttering some stuff and she gave me these two things that were gifted to her. One I'm definitely keeping, one I'm not sure what I'm going to do with and I know these were a hot commodity, but they weren't necessarily gifted to her. She won them at like a cast member meeting. Um, the first is this Anna doll. Now, I love Anna. I have a very deep connection with Anna. And this doll is stunning. I know these dolls were very, very popular. Um, this was a display sample, so it was never opened. It was just used for display. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Like, a part of me wants to save it for if I have a daughter one day, um, save it as a collector's item, but I'm trying to be realistic about the stuff that I have, as you guys have probably noticed from all my declutters. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Maybe I'll gift it to someone. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Would you be interested in p perhaps winning this? Is it okay that it's a display sample? Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this beauty, but this next beauty, ooh, <laughs> pun intended with beauty, I am keeping. Um, again, Beauty and the Beast, favorite movie. I don't know if this was the display or not, but I'm keeping it. Let me take the sleeve off of this doll. 
I kind of want to put this in my background in my studio, in my Disney room, which I'll be filming back in there again soon. But these dolls, I, the camera's not even going to do it justice with the glare and everything. They are gorgeous. You've got Gaston here, and he's got his arm around Belle. Look at that hair. Look at that dress. The eyelashes, better than my eyelashes. I'm doing a terrible job of showing these, but you guys probably know how beautiful these are. This was a set where it came with the princess and the villain, so there's one with Ariel and Ursula, Mother Gothel and Rapunzel, but this, yeah, definitely, definitely partial to this. I mean, they're so beautiful. And look at Gaston's chin. Oh my gosh, the details on these. Yeah, and it's got the beautiful display case, so I mean, it's asking to be displayed. No problem. And then I know it's September, but I've got some ornaments. The first one was a gift. One of my friends moved away and he gave me this like radio parting gift because we worked in radio together and he threw this in there. It's this Mickey Mouse radio from Hallmark. It's a 2021 keepsake ornament. I have not been, well, I've been into Hallmark, but I avoided the um, ornament section by design because I didn't want to spend money. But this one was very appropriate for those of you who don't know, I work in radio and obviously love Disney. Oh my gosh, the speakers are shaped like Mickey ears. Oh, it's an old fashioned radio. This is precious. It plays music. I'm not gonna get my screwdriver and the batteries. That's gonna be a process. But I love the detailing on the sides here too. Oh, this is so, so cute. What does it play? Uh, doesn't say. A variety of fun and festive holiday broadcasts. Oh yeah, this just got better. Oh, and you can turn the dial, I guess, to play different things. That is amazing. Let's turn it on 97.5. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I love this. This was very, very well done. And then I got three more ornaments from shopdisney.com. And I just realized I need to get a scissor to open them. So you know what? Maybe I will show those three ornaments on my next haul. How about we do that? Because I'm running out of time today. I have so much to do before I go away and we'll save something, something to look forward to. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was, what you have been getting from the parks or Shop Disney or any stores. Um, and that ornament collection, how's that coming for 2021? There's so many amazing ones and I can't wait to show you these, but I can wait because I have to finish packing and I have to get to work and get going for the day. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are doing well and I will see you real soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more Disney Magic hauls, vlogs, radio goodness, and more. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day. And a huge thank you to everyone who liked and watched and commented on my Ed Sheeran interview. That was an amazing day. Uh, he's a bud of mine and uh, it was an incredible time. So if you wanna see that interview, he performed for me like a private little serenade in the studio. We hung out. He did some things that I still can't believe he did and talked about, but I will leave that in the description box below. Okay, I think I'm done now. Yeah, we're done. <laughs>